Good evening and welcome to Diagnosis Health. I'm your host, Paul Pachelance. On tonight's episode, we speak with Georgia King, Public Health Advocate and Health and Wellbeing Coordinator. Georgia, welcome to Diagnosis Health. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're talking about e-cigarettes tonight and we just want to know, it's, it's, it's something that's starting to come up, I think, in, in, in terms of like, you know, I guess you, you Google e-cigarettes, it sort of comes up and a lot of people are sort of talking about it. What are actually e-cigarettes? E-cigarettes are electronic cigarettes sure. and they're personal vaporizers, which mm -hmm. essentially consists of a battery and something called an atomizer, um, which heats a liquid, yep. which is primarily vegetable glycerin or propylene glycol, and um, that liquid can or cannot carry a nicotine amount. And when you breathe it in, you get the feeling of actually smoking without the side effects of combustion and tar. Okay, so who actually would use an e-cigarette, for example? Well, I think it starts off with a lot of people who were smokers and okay. people who smoked what's called in the, the vaping e-cigarette community um, analogs. Oh, okay, sure. Formerly yeah. it, cigarettes. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I think the people that really delve into the world of vaping um, are people who are drawn to gadgets and electronics and, uh, and lots of engineers and IT and um, gamers. Yeah. People who like to mod their cars out. So you can actually people who like to collect. You can actually pimp out your vaporizer. Yes. Okay. So how does it actually look? Because they do look very sort of sci-fi, sort of star esque-ish sort of thing here. Yeah. How do they actually work? Well, um, the the one thing that they all have is a battery, so the mm -hmm. powered element, and um, and then they also have an atomizer. And okay. the atomizer is essentially um, what is next to the battery. Mm -hmm. So when the battery is, the power is triggered, mm -hmm. it heats up the coil. Okay. And um, the coil is a wire that goes around a wick. The wick actually holds the liquid. So if I just put this one on, you can see it's exposed. Mm -hmm. and it triggers from the bottom. Okay, so it does look like actual smoke, but that's actually like vapor or it's like kind of like steam almost. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's like an aerosol. And I can, I can notice a, a particular smell on this one. It's quite a nice smell. What? Yeah. This one is called Moon Sugar by Mr. Goodbait, uh -huh. and it's a um, butterscotch flavor. Okay. Yeah. And obviously you can get different sorts of flavors. Yes, you can get thousands of flavors. This one here is um, an Oreo cookie flavor. An Oreo cookie yeah. flavor. Yeah. <laughs> so, and this is a different type of device. It's an atomizer, mm -hmm. but... Ah. But it's a direct drip. So oh, okay. instead of holding the liquid in a tank like a cardamizer would, mm -hmm. Um, you actually take off the drip tip and every so often put a few drops in directly okay. onto the atomizer. Okay. Now how, um, I guess the, the next question is like, what's the sort of way forward in terms of, of e-cigarettes? Is this um, obviously going to overtake analog cigarettes? Is this actually safe? What is the, what is, I guess, what's the future forward for e-cigarettes? Well, I think the benefits of e-cigarettes and um, the fact that you don't have a, a smoke smell, which is quite offensive to a lot of people, mm. and you don't have tar, which is associated with the burning and smoke combustion. Sure. Um, I think in that sense, they sell themselves. And I think because of that, the market is just increasing exponentially. I know in America alone, I believe in California, they have 60 or more brick and mortar shops of they, just on vaping. So they're almost like cigarette shops, I guess, like we have in most yeah. places, but you just go in and you, you pick up your vapor. I mean, your some vapor. of them have lounges yeah. and bars where you can okay. sample all the different flavors, um, look at all the different mods that are out. Um, I, I just, I think um, last year alone, the industry itself was worth tens of billions of dollars in America. Wow. It's more than I make in a week, I think. <laughs> now, in terms of, um, I guess, 
the big question is like, what do cigarette companies think about this? Because obviously if this is starting to take off and this is a great sort of alternative to, I guess, to tar cigarettes or analog cigarettes, as you sort of say, uh, what do they actually think about this? Well, I think a few years ago, um, before, before this gained so much momentum, hmm. they were doing everything they could to prevent the rise of them. But hmm. I think it's reached the point where it's too late, so they're looking at, and I think have already done so, buying some e-cigarette companies mm -hmm. or manufacturers. Yep. Um, I think there's some questionable research that came out that demonized electronic cigarettes um, that was actually funded public health research that was funded by Big Tobacco. Ah. But recent research um, is indicating that they actually do work really well in getting people off analog cigarettes and, um, and, and preventing the morbidity associated with smoking. Okay, so in my old days, I guess, I used to smoke about what, three packets of cigarette a day sometimes, I'm going through medical school, and I remember that, um, um, so, it was, it was tough to get off them. And um, having something like this where you can, obviously I've noticed that you, there's different vari variations of nicotine mm -hmm. levels in these things. So too. people will start off say on the level of nicotine that they would have smoked in their analog cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And then they'll actually slowly it, decrease that okay. if they want. Yeah. Some people sure. just enjoy it mm. and they don't feel like they're getting the um, ramifications of smoking and oh, yes. um, a lot of people experience better skin, um, it's easier to breathe, mm. they can now work out without being winded Yes, and they don't reek of cigarette smoke. Oh, I've all been there before. <laughs> Thank you very much Georgia for coming on Diagnosis Health. Thank you. Well that's all we've got time for for tonight's episode of Diagnosis Health. Hope you enjoy the show.